Hey everybody, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a review. You see Cosmetics sent me what is called their gel like in clear, their poly gel. So I'm going to be doing a client and I'll be using forms and sculpting with the poly gel to see how well it works. They also sent me a brush. It does look a lot like the Madame Glam one. It just does not say Madame Glam. So it has the one side, the spatula, and the other side is the brush. So we'll be using that as well. They also sent me this uh, piece right here, which is to go on the tube. It helps to push the poly gel out. So you just stick it on the bottom and that's how that works. So I'm just gonna grab the spatula and we're gonna squeeze a little bit out and see the consistency of the poly gel. So it's actually pretty hard to squeeze out. If you really wanted to, you could take the cap off and it probably would come out a little easier. But so I've got some here. So we're going to put it on the spatula and see if it's runny or if it's thick like it should be. Okay, there you can see it's not moving. That's what you want. That's good. So like I said, we'll get started on my client. I'll start from the very beginning and prep her nails. So I'll just let you guys watch me do that. So to start with, I'm going to take my fine sanding band and just uh, even out her nails. And then I'll be removing the shine off the nails, just lightly buffing them. With the poly gel, I like to put it about um, the middle of the nail because then I'm taking some isopropyl alcohol, which works just fine with this poly gel, and I'm going to push it back and push, put a thin layer around the cuticle. And then once I get it done along the side walls and cuticle, it's nice and not touching. I am going to be pushing it down, and this poly gel does work really well. It's a good poly gel. It's not sticky in any way, so I'm very happy with that. So I'm just going to let you guys watch me do that and at one point here I'm going to add some more poly gel and the nice thing about the poly gel too is you, once you add a little bit, which you'll see here, it blends nicely. You just work it in with the rest using some isopropyl alcohol and what I'm wanting to do is to build up her apex at this point so that's why I added a little extra and then I'm going to shape the nails. I'm going for a coffin shape so... Uh, we'll get that shape and then I'll move on to the next one and I do not need to cure it in, and move on to the next one because it is completely staying in place. Once I get them all done though we'll cure for 60 seconds.
Okay, now that I have them shaped, I'm just gonna buff them to remove any scratches because I'm gonna be applying a polish to the nails. And just to say, I really like the poly gel. It was really nice to work with. So if you guys are interested, I'll have the link below for it. And now I'm gonna do a design on these nails. So I'm gonna be taking some gel polish and gonna be doing three of the nails in this color. And I'll have to do two coats of it. Cure each one for 30 seconds. On the index finger, we decided to apply some more of that glitter gel and I'm just gonna ombre it down a little bit and then we'll cure that for 60 seconds as well. 